Deborah, a wise prophet, based on Judges 4, 1 through 16, and 5, 3, and 31. Have you ever had a hard time trying to decide what to do? Did you ask someone to help you? This is a story about a woman named Deborah. She helps people make hard decisions. When the Israelites asked for God's help, God always sent a person to help them. One time, God sent a woman named Deborah who was a great prophet. A prophet is someone who tells people about God and what God wants them to do. Deborah was a kind and wise leader. Everyone respected and loved her. Deborah sat under her palm tree and helped people make hard decisions. People came from all over to talk to her and listen to what God said to her. In the land of Hazor, there was a man named Sisera. He was in charge of the army of King Jabin. King Jabin wanted to rule over God's people, the Israelites. So he sent Sisera and the army to capture them. Around the same time, God spoke to Deborah. Tell Barak that I want him to take his army and defend my people. Barak was in charge of the Israelite army. Deborah and Barak were good friends. She told Barak what God told her. Barak trusted Deborah. He asked her, Deborah, will you go into battle with me? This is a hard decision, but together we can defend God's people. Deborah agreed to go with him into battle. Barak gathered 10,000 soldiers. With them, Deborah and Barak defeated Sisera's army. To thank God, Deborah's son, Abinoam, sang a song in her honor, praising God. Today, we call that song, Deborah's Song. After that, the Israelites lived in peace for 40 years. Good morning, everyone. I hope that this video finds you well, and I hope that you have enjoyed listening to our story about Deborah. So let's get to it. Have you ever been the friend that all your friends come to for advice? Maybe you're naturally good at listening and have the gift of wisdom of giving good advice. Now, have you ever had to tell someone something that maybe they didn't want to hear? Not something mean, but a, a truth, maybe a hard truth to hear. Maybe it was information that needed to be shared or a task that you knew needed to be done, but you still didn't want to do it or share it. I totally get that. I've been there. Well, our friend Deborah today, she had to do all of these things. She was someone everyone came to for advice. People knew that God spoke to her and they trusted that Deborah had the courage to share what God was saying, no matter how hard it might be to say. We hear in this story that God tells her to go to her friend Barak and let him know that he'll soon have to go to war to defend their land and family. That's not something you ever want to tell or hear, frankly. <laughs> War is scary, it's violent, and many people get hurt. Yet Deborah was brave enough to share the news with Barak, and Barak was brave enough to obey what God said. They both trusted God and knew in their hearts that God would always be with them no matter what. Deborah actually goes to war with Barak. Now, it was not normal for a woman back then to hold so much power, both as a wisdom giver, but also as a warrior. Deborah is one of many brave and courageous women in our Bible. She reminds us that God doesn't just speak to men, that God uses women too to spread and share God's love, bravery, and joy to the world. We read that eventually they do win the war and peace prevails in their land for another 40 years. This is a story about being brave, about knowing and remembering your self-worth and trusting God. Last week, we spoke about how God loves us and how God wants us to love and look after each other like Ruth and Naomi. This week's story shows us what that might look like in action in another story. 
in the form specifically of bravery, self-worth, and trusting God. So take being brave, for instance. Just like how Deborah bravely told Barak about God's message and stood with him, saying I love you to a friend or a family member who needs to be reminded maybe of how much we love them is actually a really, really brave thing to do. We don't have to go to battle to prove our bravery. Words are very brave when they are words of love and kindness. Acknowledging our self-worth is super important too, especially now. Many people have been feeling maybe bad about themselves because of losing jobs and, and they may forget their value in the eyes of God. How can we remind them of how loved they are? How can we be like Deborah and show people that it doesn't matter what the world may say about you, what job you may have? You are valuable to God and God is always working through you. And finally, all of these things are impossible to do if we don't trust God. We have to trust that what God wants for all of us is joy, peace, and love before we can do anything else. This story has a lot of layers to it, I know, but it's so rich and powerful. So feel free to go back and read or listen to this video again. But just remember, when we read this story, this is the biggest takeaway. Deborah was brave with her words, not just with her hands, and we can be too. She never doubted that God could use her for good and trusted that good things were indeed what God wanted for her and what God wants for us, not bad things. So this week, be brave with words of love to people who might need to hear them. Maybe you need to hear them. Remember how special you are and trust that God has always got your back. Amen? Have a good week.